I was going through the scripture in all the uh, gospels from Matthew to John recently I was studying and I wanted to see wh- whom does Jesus ask us to pray for two kinds of people Jesus asks us to pray for the first group is people who persecute you and spitefully use you the second group is pray for laborers to rise up I want you to see the connection when the person is persecuting you and you pray for the person God begins to move and now this side you pray for the laborer God begins to move upon him and sends him across the path of the persecutor so when the laborer and the persecutor meets there will be a revival Saul was the one who was persecuting and Jesus asked us to pray for him and when we when people prayed for him God touched Ananias so the second prayer is you pray for the laborers laborer was Ananias so he went across the path of Paul and he laid hands on Paul and the scales in his eyes fell off and Paul was baptized and he became a changed person a praying person a preacher of the gospel the same person who persecuted is now preaching <coughs> the same person who persecuted is now praying when you pray for the persecuted and when you pray for the laborers there will come a convergence point when both of them meet and there will be a revival at that moment there will be a change there will be a breakthrough there will be a transformation so today it's time for you to pray